Alright YouTube, heater update. You can see, uh, 11 degrees outside. Great day. To test a heater. Made a crude setup. Here we go. Mimicking a lot of the designs that we've seen on YouTube here to see what happens. The little legs are just kind of a quick cheesy deal I put together. But, as you can see here, I've got a slotted rotor for my air intake and we were wondering we've got a very rich combustion so we're thinking two inch exhaust pipe is choking the unit too much we're not getting the flow that we want you can see it's very dark very black now the way I tested that idea was I added a extra hole. I don't know if you can see that right here. And we're exhausting out of that as well. So we were out of the, the fill feed pipe, but I wasn't sure being that it was directly over the center of the combustion chamber if that was an issue or not. But you can see now we have a little breeze and we're actually exhausting out the side of the rotor. So we're gonna have to go back and we're gonna have to cut off this exhaust and we're gonna have to increase its diameter. No, we did not put it in the top center because we wanted to retain some of the heat in the tank as long as possible. But we're going to first step up to a 3 or 4 inch pipe here, we're at 2 inch now, and see if we can't clean this combustion up and get more of a vortex moving. If that doesn't work, then we will have to go to the top center. But just a quick update so you can see what's going on, and uh, there will be more to follow. Okay, update here. We uh, took the 2 inch exhaust off and replaced it with a 3.5 inch exhaust. It's actually a glass pack. Oh, it was like a 2 and a quarter, 2 and a half inch glass pack, and I just took the pipe and guts and everything out of it and gave us a 3.5 inch pipe here. And what we're finding is interesting. Now that we're getting a much cleaner combustion here, I don't know if you can see the, the heater is running. Get a backdrop so you can actually see what's coming out of the pipe. I don't know if you can see that or not. But now, no matter how much fuel I put in, it tends to uh, burn relatively clean. So, compared to before, there's now you probably see it. But um, I gave it a lot so it's real rich. Before I had heavy black soot coming out of the pipe. Uh, the heater was full of heavy black soot. But what was interesting is with it much richer, or more choked I should say, uh, we had a much higher operating temperature. We were seeing close to 700 degrees. We cut our operating temperature in half. Of course we did about double the size of our exhaust here. It went from a two inch to three and a half. But we um, raised the uh, tank temperature just a little bit, evened it out more than anything. But then our exhaust pipe temp before with the two inch, man, the thing would only get maybe 130 degrees when we had 700 degrees down below. So, kind of interesting balance here. Um, it's running and burning much cleaner, but uh, we increased our exhaust flow, increasing our chimney temperature, reducing our combustion chamber temperature by half, but um, now it burns clean. So we're going to have to uh, keep playing around here and see what we can come up with. Okay, YouTube. <clears throat> well, we finally got this thing installed. Very makeshift, kind of chicken shit if anything. But, you can see our oil drip rate here. So that's our feed running down in. There's our fire down underneath. Well, you can see that, but that's a piece of angle iron inside there. There's oil dripping off of that. I know it's really hard to see. That's dripping into the center of the pan. And we just run soft copper, coiled up. 
needle valve over to our bucket with our oil so it's gravity heats up drips in controllable drip rate we uh, made a damper here so we can uh, close her down right now it's wide open so <clears throat> got her chimney in but here's the thing not overly impressed with the heat we're outputting right now we are outputting uh, that rotor's about 400 degrees tanks about 270 something like that looks like it's kind of hard to see there it goes 270 exhaust temp yep yeah, about the same 260 270 this seem to focus here a little bit I don't know if you can read that 265 it says so and if we speed up our drip rate we really don't get much more heat out of it so the heat output that we're getting out of it isn't real good so I'm starting to uh, second guess this design looks like we might be cutting it apart quicker than we thought probably to get rid of the 20 pound tank so I'm thinking we need to upgrade to the 30 pound or 30 gallon air tank much larger air tank and then um, to get a larger combustion chamber secondary combustion chamber size so maybe we can cool that exhaust down it just a little bit more before it goes out so we can keep the heat in the tank longer and then um, We'll uh, put this setup on that other air tank, I think, here. See what happens. And we may have to actually add some uh, extra air holes here. But uh, before with our 2-inch chimney, we uh, needed to increase the chimney, not the incoming air. It used the, our test hole there as a chimney. So we increased our chimney size, and, yeah, it, uh, it does run better but uh, we don't get the heat out of it that we did before but it burns cleaner so I guess back to the drawing board huh? make a uh, another adjustment and it's been uh, good and cold here as you can see negative 5 and she's still dropping wind chill of negative 14 we got 4 6 mile an hour wind up on top of the tower up there uh, negative 17 with the wind chill right now but um, I'll uh, do some more work here and do some more testing and see what we can't come up with have a good night YouTube okay YouTube simple update did some screwing around well what do you always need to make fire fuel ignition and air we figured a slotted rotor would be more than enough air but I don't think it is. What you can hear here is I've got a leaky air blower. This isn't regulated at all. But it's leaking there. I just wedged it on a piece of fuel line, bulk fuel line I had, aluminum, and I just shoved it in. I don't know if you can see that at all. That fuel line runs right up to the piece of the angle iron and it drips in. And it's kind of blowing it around in there. Yeah, so you can hear there's a lot more noise now. Our drip rate, about the same. Eh, it might be just a little bit quicker. I've been screwing with that. <clears throat> but, here's what we did do. We had our temperatures rise considerably. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There. We've been trending around 600. 630, 640, right there. As you can see now our stickers burnt right off. We had the tank actually at one time. We had it just right. I haven't been able to reproduce it. About 450 there. We had the tank up to 700. And we had the lower section there. About 750, 800. So now you can see our exhaust temps are up 400. The old EGTs are climbing. So, we're going to do some more playing here, a little more head scratching, but obviously we knew introducing a lot more air would help. 
we're actually not putting very much air in there at all. You hear more leaking past than anything, but um, I don't know, no way to measure it, no volume there um, with what I'm doing, but uh, we'll play it some more and we'll give you another update. Okay, YouTube update. We uh, put these holes in all the way around to uh, increase our airflow, and um, well, it responded nicely. It did bring up temperatures, but what really responded well is when I threw the air hose back in again and forced some air into the unit. Well, then the temperature skyrocketed higher than I've seen yet. Everything was over a thousand degrees because this unit only goes to a thousand and then it's maxed out. It just gives you a couple of lines across to there. So we're in the 500 area right now where anywhere I scan this, it was over a thousand. It even changed the color on our old glass pack there. Burnt the paint off it almost instantly, turned it black, changed our stainless band to a gold color, and we filled the shop entirely full of smoke. We couldn't see anything. Though, so our EGTs are still too high. So, next step, we drug in the large air tank, solid steel. We think we're going to stick that on that combustion chamber and hopefully we can lower our EGTs a little bit. We'll give you another update soon.